Bill McGuire. What's the crack? Welcome to today's episode. My name is David Kelly, I'm the Irish Guy Vlogs. Too bright. God damn it. And in today's episode, I'm here in the seaside town of Kilkee. And I'm here because I've been volunteering at the local radio station for the past three weeks. So this all started about a month ago when I went into a friend of mine's shop in Kilrush and he said he'd been watching some of my videos and he said to me, you have a great voice for the radio. And I was like, really? I said, I know I definitely have a face for the radio, but I'm not sure about my voice. He said, yeah. He said, you should try and uh, get onto a radio station. So I contacted Radio Cork Washington here in Kiki and they said, call up. And I've been volunteering for the past few weeks. And I'm really, really liking it. Uh, the team here are great. They do a lot of work. They do a lot for the community. I think it's a brilliant service that they provide. So I'm going to go in, show you around the studio a little bit, and yeah, give you a better idea of what it's all about. <laughs> And this is it. This is the studio. So this is where <laughs> this is where the magic happens. The audio magic. So yeah, here you have your mixing desk. Not gonna mess around with any of these because we're live on the air now. Well, there's a show going out and I don't want to like talk into these because if I do, I could mess things up. But anyway, here we have the main microphones. We have two mics here. Uh, in next door, this is where you get people, so if you have any guests or anything like that, you can talk to them through there, which is pretty cool. Uh, here, this is where I put my music in, so I just put a USB in here, mix it around here, get it right, and yeah, I have to record every show as well, so before the show starts, I have to come over here, press record, uh, so that way I can make sure that it's recorded and, you know, guaranteed to be able to be put up on the website so that people can listen to it. Oh, and that's another thing. If you want to listen to some of the previous shows from Radio Kirk Washington, you can go to rcb.ie and you can listen to all their documentaries and any of the podcasts or shows or anything that they've had over the past. And there's some really, really good ones there, some really interesting ones, a mix of history, community, and local stuff. And I think there's a great pile of stuff there for you to listen through and get a better feeling of what RCB is like and what community radio is like in general. I'm going to leave all the links that I mentioned in the description down below. So if you want to volunteer, if you want to listen to RCB, CB, you can find the links in the description down below. And this is the bit where I pretend I'm an actual DJ. And, oh, crap. <laughs> I didn't break it. This is the bit where I pretend I'm an actual DJ and put on my headphones and press buttons and things like that. Oh, one of these is up. One of these sliders is up. I didn't touch it. Anyway, welcome to Radio Kirk Washington in the 2.4 to 95.8. My name is David Kelly, I'm the Irish guy. No, I'm not. I'm not on the radio. I'm not the Irish guy vlogs on the radio. See, you can't make mistakes. Everything goes out live, so you have to be really on your game. And yeah. <laughs> maybe I could be the Irish guy talks. Hmm, maybe that could be the name of my show. The Irish guy talks. Talk shite. But yeah, I think it's a really cool studio. You can even, like if someone wants to call in, they can, there's a phone here. Brian showed me last week how to connect this. I, I don't remember how to do it. I'm sorry, Brian, if you're watching. It's something here. <laughs> it's some, one of these buttons. If someone calls in, you can get them on the radio. And uh, yeah, I think it's really, really cool. Yeah, I think I've gone through everything here. I have the mics. I have an old record player in the corner if you want to play records. CDs, USB stuff here. And uh, I'll show you some stuff next door. <laughs> This is the other studio, so if we have a guest uh, or anything like that, we interview them in here. It's a little bit dark. Like a big collection of CDs if there's anything that you don't have on USB. Run and order, some headphones, some really good mics. And yeah, I think it's really, really cool. So I was I was in here last week doing a show right here with Brian, and he was through the glass there. I'll show a little clip of it now. So we're uh, almost ready to go. We'll listen to the news. Brian is in next door. That's Brian inside. <laughs> I'm here, just waiting for him to talk to me. We're going to be talking about traditions and stuff. We've got a list of traditions here from around the world. So we roast it, cover it usually in bacon. And sometimes actually what you can do is you can put your veg at the bottom. Like if you have like full carrots and full parsnips, you put them at the bottom of your tray, put the turkey on top of them, and then all the juices and stuff from the turkey drip, drip down into the veg and they roast together and it's just... Oh. Oh man, you're making me hungry now. Seriously. It gets really sweet. What kind of marmalade? No, what flavour? Or orange? Orange. Oh, okay. Oh, is there is there only one flavour of marmalade? The most exciting part about all this for me is having is getting to do something new. Something that I've always been interested in but never really knew how to get into. I thought I'd need the experience. 
And it turns out that my video experience actually gave me the skills that I needed to be able to talk on the radio and to be able to edit audio. Because I'm talking to camera, I'm kind of getting used to it over the past uh, over the past year or so. My brain has kind of kicked into a different gear of where I'm able to, you know, be more fluid with how I speak. And I've noticed that socially, uh, I've gotten better at speaking. I'm less paranoid about how I sound, how I speak, because I was very conscious that I used to speak really, really fast. And I'd kind of slur some of my words because I did speak so fast. From doing these videos and from doing radio, I've become more conscious of it and it's something that I've tried to change over the past year. As well as all lots of other stuff like in my life, behaviour wise, uh, things like that. So from having one skill, from learning one skill, it can have a knock on effect and you can create other skills from it or you can use those skills to adapt to do other things, which is nice. It's cool to be able to do something else and feel like it could work, you know, and feel like that you like it and it's enjoyable. I think that's really cool. Um, we'll probably have a live show next Tuesday for an hour. Oh no, we won't because it's Christmas Eve. Oh no. But I just got confirmation a couple of minutes ago that my Christmas show is going to be going up around 4 o'clock on Christmas Day. So if you do want to listen in to me talk shite for an hour, listen to some obscure Christmas music, and just listen to me waffle on about stuff, then 4 o'clock Christmas Day, go to rcb.ie or 92.5 to 94.8 on your radio, and you'll get me there. Should be an interesting listen, and it should be fun to hear myself on the radio on Christmas Day, so we'll see. And you might be in a similar situation, you might want to get into radio, but you just don't know how. So if you're local to Clare and you do want to volunteer, rcb.ie slash volunteer, and yeah, you can talk to the guys here, they're really, really nice, really friendly, really open, and yeah, do it. Do it. And outside the door here is like the main kind of office area, but because of the GDPR, I don't think I'm allowed to show anyone's faces. Over the next couple of weeks, or maybe even sometime next year, you're going to see like a full tour. You might even see like my own personal video, like a little mini documentary on RCB and why it's so cool and why it deserves your attention. If you're a radio listener, you probably listen to the mainstream stations, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. On community radio, you're going to get a type of content that you won't find anywhere else. On the mainstream stations, you're probably going to hear them talk about celebrities and Kim Kardashian's arse and stuff like that. Like on Radio Kirkwashkin, you're going to hear, you're going to hear local news, you're going to hear local stories about people that you might know and things that you might know. You know. So that there's more of a connection between you and the person talking. And I have to say, the past few weeks here have been brilliant. The team here have made me really feel at home. If I stay next year, if I'm still volunteering next year, they've decided to let me do a show. So I'm trying to come up with ideas for a show. I've been thinking something along the lines of storytelling, history, kind of myths and legends, facts about Ireland and Clare and things like that. So I'm developing at the minute and we'll see next year if it actually comes to fruition. Hopefully it does. But it's one step at a time and it's still a bit of a learning process because even though I know how to do it, there's still certain things I have to learn and I really have to curb my cursing <laughs> because I can't curse live on air because it's, it's out there. Uh, at least when I curse here I can edit it out if I want to, but yeah. I know some of my subscribers were wondering why I didn't have a video of Blast Friday and I actually did have a video recorded but when I went to edit it it was just terrible. I was doing a puzzle, I have this puzzle at home, I'll show some clips of it. But basically I was doing this puzzle and I had my GoPro on my head, which I thought would like get really good footage of me doing the puzzle and I had a camera pointing at me. And when I went to edit it, it was just terrible. The footage from my GoPro was awful uh, because like I just thought that because I was looking down, it would work, but it didn't. I, I wasn't happy with it, so I didn't put up a video. But I blame Friday the 13th because I really, really tried to make that video work, make it fit, and I just couldn't. It was just, yeah, it was a busy week for me. So I do apologize for not having a video up, but yeah. It'll get better. My schedule will get better. That's it for me for today. Just wanted to do an update on what I'm up to here. Let you know the community radio is really cool. It's really interesting. You're going to hear stories here. You're going to hear things here that you won't hear anywhere else. And yeah, if you want to tune into RCB 92.5 to 94.8 or rcb.ie online. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing down below. Smash that like button. And yeah, I'll see you next Friday with another video. Bye.